Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Shredder and this is my zoo. We start off in the Chalicotherium enclosure because I'm going to do something which I've forgotten to do the last couple of episodes and that is do a little bit of naming. Now we always ask for requests for names for certain things. So first of all we have, uh, yes, Sam. This one is uh, named after Sam. I offered this one up for adoption a few episodes ago and uh, we, this one's for Sam. Now also we have a couple of frogs that need to be named so let's zoom over to there. Okay here we go with the frogs. Uh, one of my frogs actually died. I think it starved to death um, but I had to go around the whole zoo a little while ago and just make sure everything was fed and there were quite a few animals that were very close to starvation. Uh, it's very difficult to uh, to keep this zoo looked after. It's so big now there's so many creatures here uh, and there's just one zookeeper that's me uh, trying to get them all alive is very very difficult but here we are over at the frog exhibit and we have Toby and we also have Ben. So there's two more names. So there we go. That's the naming uh, this time out. So what I normally do, because um, I haven't done it for the last couple of episodes, is I will offer out uh, a certain uh, animal or group of animals for adoption. And if you want those named after you, uh, then please write down in the comments. I think what I'm going to do, because um, nobody seemed to want the frog, so I only got two requests out of the uh, four that I had originally, but only three there now. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is say that um, if I've got an animal that you want named after you in the zoo that hasn't got a name, then you can ask for it. Don't ask for something that I don't have. Um, now obviously I, I, I'm aware that if you are a newer subscriber or if you haven't been watching the series from the beginning, and I know that's probably going to be most of you, you won't necessarily know what I've got. But um, So you know, pay attention to the videos and you can see what I've got. And if I've got something that needs a name, like uh, the Sarkos need naming, the Baryonyx I think we need naming, uh, we've got Capros, I think, I th yeah, and um, Typicalis, we've got Carbonemus, uh, the Spinos are named, we've got those named already. Uh, there's one more frog left. And there's a whole just a whole bunch of things over here that will need naming as well. Now, some of them have names, some of them don't. So uh, if I have a quick fly up over the zoo, you can kind of see what we've got. I think I may have a Diabur over there. Uh, one of the mammoths might need naming, I can't remember now. I can't remember myself what needs naming. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got uh, all the rest of the flyers there. The Pelagornus, I think, needs a name. Um, all my trikes, I think, are named now. And my dial is named. So the, yeah, I've got, I've got loads of those things here. So if there's something you want named after you, please ask for it in the comments. If I have it already, I'll put you down on the list and I'll name it. If I don't have it, I won't put you down on this. I'm not going to reserve names for future episodes. That's what I was doing before, and it kind of the list kind of got crazy, it got too long, and I couldn't I couldn't keep up with it. So I'm not going to reserve names. But if I have something that you want named after you, um, then I will. Like I think all my carnas are named, so you can't have any of them. But anyway, that's that's a plan. So if you want something named after you, please put it down in the comments. And if I have it, and if it's not got a name then I will add you to the list and we'll do a few names each episode. Anyway, let's get on to the building. Uh, last time out we started this area over here which was the small animal enclosure and we did the compi exhibit. Let me zoom down here. If I actually start uh, walking I'll actually be able to move a bit faster. There we go. So let's get inside. Oh, locked up. There we go. Okay, so I added the Jaboa because, <laughs> I'm a bit ashamed to admit this, I didn't know the Jaboa was actually real. It's a real animal. Uh, it actually exists. I thought it was a fantasy a creature made up for Scorched Earth. And um, I actually looked into it because someone said, oh, you should add your bows. I was like, well, that's fantasy. And I looked into it and I realised it's actually a real creature. So, uh, yep, yeah, that will uh, suit quite nicely for this uh, this area. So, yeah, so we've got things like, uh, let's put my hut back on, the Truodons. We have the, uh, this. what is this one again? This is the Archaeopteryx, I think, is it? I think that's the Archaeopteryx, it doesn't say. Because um, it's not the Microraptor. That's the Microraptor, isn't it? Oh, some weird noises. Yeah, so we've got that, we've got Hesperonis, we've got Vultures and everything like that. So this is the Compi exhibit that we did last time out. Um, yeah, so if you saw the educational special I did on Wednesday for these guys, it was a little bit weird. I couldn't get these guys to wander. Normally what I do is for the educational special when I'm just walking around talking about them, um, I will have them on wander, so they're just walking around me, but they wouldn't do it. So I had to kind of get them to follow me and stuff. It, it was just kind of a bit of a weird effect. So I don't know why that is. There's plenty of space. Sometimes I know if you do, if you have a dino on Wanda, but it's in a very enclosed space, it won't actually move. But there's loads of space in there for them. So uh, yeah, that's a bit weird. Anyway, let's move on to the next enclosure. What are we going to do? I haven't even decided yet. Um, I think I'll probably do another one on the ground floor because I've got an upper floor here. 
which is kind of ready to be built on. We could do something up here or we could, I don't want to have just one enclosure down here, we need another one. I'm thinking maybe, maybe either the Jaboa or maybe the Pegamastix down here might be quite a nice one, or maybe both of them. Because, uh, or even the Truidon. We could do the Truidon, couldn't we? That could be an interesting one to do. Um, so what I'm thinking is most of these are birds or bird-like. Um, the, you know, these are all birds. We have the Microraptor and the Archaeopteryx. Um, are you know the Archaeopteryx was kind of a, one of the sort of early, really early birds. Um, the Microraptor was um, again very, very close to be, being full bird. Uh, everything else is a bird except for the Truodon, which is still covered in feathers, so it is on its way to be uh, coming a bird. Um, and the Pogamastix is not a bird, so. Uh, the compies weren't either, so I'm thinking maybe the least bird-like on the ground floor, and as we go further up, we get more and more bird-like. That's that that could be that could be a theme that we could stick with. So okay, let's do the pegamastix then. Yeah, we'll do the pegamastix, and we'll do it. Um, we'll do it over this side. So this this area here is going to be a lobby. We'll decorate this at some point as well. But we're going to bust out this way, and we'll have um, we'll have how how's the ground going? We'll have another floor, so it's going to come out a little bit. I think we're going to need to go kind of up. So I think what we'll do, we'll have some stairs going up and we'll break out into this area up here. That, that'll look quite nice, I think. So yes, that's what we'll do. So I'm going to get some building resources and uh, let's get building. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put a staircase in. Now, do I want it right on the edge or do we have it a little bit further out? I think maybe, let's try it like this way and then we'll change this over to the stairs. Okay, so that can be a staircase as you so as you first come in the entrance, you can go down to the compi down there or up a, a floor to, uh, to the next one. So we're going to put in a door frame. Uh, let's put this in. This is a double door frame. Okay, and I'm not going to put a door in as I think we'll want to leave this kind of mostly open. And then of course we're going to have our ceilings. I can actually get this in the right place like that so we can come out. Perfect. And then this will be our floorway. So uh, let's extend this out over this way and we'll see uh, see how this works out. Not sure how big to make this yet but we'll just kind of stick a few out and we'll uh, see how it goes. So we'll probably go up until um, up until the floor slopes up again. So uh, can we get another one? Okay yeah there we go. So that'll be right on the edge of the ground. That looks that probably works out quite nicely. That's quite a decent size. We can get rid of this as well. We don't want a tree. If you want a tree we'll put in one of our own design. Not that one. Okay, all right, so that's going to be our floorway. Now, do we want to take out, we might want to take out this wall to kind of open this up a little bit, or how are we going to do this? We could even actually not bother with the door frame. Hmm, okay, let me, let's think about this. Maybe we could just put some windows in. Maybe we could just make that into a glass wall, so you, you, it's just still a room. Hmm, it's, yeah, I'll have to play about and see how things look. Let's Let's build this room out a little bit. And um, we'll see how it looks. Okay, so we've got some walls, and uh, we'll just again we'll just put in the walls, and then we can figure out whether we want windows or what we or what we want later on. I just want to kind of get the shape done first of all, and then we can figure it out. Because uh, as I've said before, I never plan these things out. I just make it up as I go along. And we'll see how it goes. So this is going to be our next room. Um, we, again, we can always have so the, the next floor is just above here, so we could have another staircase going up onto the top here. That might actually look quite good if we do it, say here, and then we'll switch to the stairs, and then we can. Uh, I guess we can pick up this wall and just see how that looks. Yep. So you can then come out into the top floor area there. That'll look quite good. So let's stick in some more walls uh, going along this side. Uh, again, we'll definitely want to put windows in at some point. Whether we do full windows, uh, like you know, full glass windows, or whether we'll do the actual like Adobe window frames, we'll have to see how it, how it looks, depending on the position as well. So let's enclose that out. Okay, so that's our next room. So the Pegamastix enclosure will definitely be up here. And okay, yeah, I definitely want to do something with this wall. Don't want it to be just a blank wall. So, okay, let's think about how it's going to look. Okay, so that's how it looks with the railings. Not sure I like it too much. Um, I think I might try, it doesn't look too bad, but I think I might try uh, some glass walls and we'll see how that looks. But while we're thinking about it, actually, 
Uh, we can put a railing if we can, if we can get it in the right place. Go on, you can do it. Come on, go on. I had it there for a moment. Come on. That's where we want it. There we go. I have a railing up there. That looks good. So, okay, let's try some glass walls in there. Okay, that's with the glass walls in there. I think I like that better. Um, it's kind of, you know, because we've got the glass walls at the front here, so I, I think that works better. We'll, we'll go with that for now. We can always change it. Give me some feedback as well. Tell me what you think, whether you think it looks good or not. And, uh, okay, so let's move on to the uh, the enclosure itself. So I'm thinking um, we can probably keep it... We, we could take the wall one higher. How high did we have this one now? This one was three... That was three high. That looks quite quite nice, I think. Okay, so let's go for that one. We shall go uh, with the three high walls around here. It also might make sense as you're going up here. So, oh no! Ah, oh, look at the walls! They are not lined up. Something has gone terribly wrong. Uh, so with the F plus there are multiple snap points. So, oh no, what's happened here? Right, hang on. I need to kind of sort this out. Okay, so I think I've got it figured out. Um, this is is the right place because we only have the ceiling here and there is nowhere else for it to snap. On this point over here, we have the ceiling and then of course we have the wall underneath. So there are two different snap points for the S plus walls. So I've, you can see here, I fixed this one. I'm just take this one out and I placed it and it now lines up with this one. That's what we're going to have to do because we can't uh, we can't sink these walls at all because there's nothing to sink it to. But these walls we can raise up. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go through and uh, take out this wall, if you see like that. And then if I do five, and um, you can see where it places, and there. So, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to replace uh, this row. At least it's just the one row, and it doesn't seem to affect the outside at all. Um, it looks just kind of the same. You can see that way. It looks no difference. You've still got... Uh, well, that's interesting. We don't have a thing there. Oh, that's because we've got the, the gap. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm going to just go around and replace this uh, this row of walls. And uh, then we can get started on the next part of the building. Okay, that is done. That took longer than it should do, because sometimes they just do not want to snap in the right place. Oh, Anyway, I also went ahead and did the third row of walls along the top on this point. Uh, so, now we need to think about the actual enclosure for these guys. Now... Uh, ideally, because the combis we had a three deep um, uh, ceilings, so that uh, you know they've got plenty of space in there. Uh, now we couldn't go any further out because we'd start intersecting with the floor, and that would look a little bit weird. So we're limited to maybe two because we're gonna. Well, we need to come up here. Now the options are: oh, I need a railing on there. Let's just uh, quickly do that. Lovely. So the options are to have a small walkway. So we have the um, the glass at this point. So you just have one wide for the walkway for the visitors to go around and maybe do up here. So we'll have like another kind of an L-shaped uh, wide. I think that might that might be quite good. I mean, yeah, I don't think we're going to need to worry about having more space than that for the visitors to walk through. So let's just go for that right now. So we'll do that like this and then it comes in this point like so. All right, so that's going to be uh, that's going to be the enclosure. Now again, we could probably do with a staff entrance. Let me think. How do we do? Let's get rid of this wall. Can we come out further? We can come out further and have a little staff entrance going out this way. That'll be fine. So we'll do that. We'll have a just a little walkway like that. I guess that would that would do, won't it? And then we'll have um, a door frame in this point and at this point. So we'll take out this wall as well. So we can just get around. That's perfect. Okay, let me just go and put those in. Okay, there we go. So just a simple little door frame in here, just a one high wide, just a little corridor, just for staff members to get into and attend to the Pegamastics if they need to. Uh, and again, I'm not sure what the range of the feeding trough for the compies is, whether it will reach up here. Let's go grab a Pegamastics and put them in, and we'll see uh, see whether it reaches up here or if we'll need to put in another feeding trough. So let's grab you. And we'll just quickly run around. Let's chuck him in the far corner, the furthest point away. He's still under the uh, the feeding trough, so that's absolutely fine. We don't need to put another feeding trough in. We can just make sure that the one in the compies room is kept stocked up. And uh, perfect. Okay, and while we're at it, we might as well... 18 levels! Wow! It's because I've done a lot of building. A lot of health for you there. 
What does that put him up to? Not that it matters at all, but... Wow, almost doubled it. Right. A little bit hurt, that's fine. Okay, so let's go do some more uh, more glass walls, uh, which I've just now run out of. So I'll grab some more walls, and I guess we'll want, um, yeah, it's probably too high, same as we did with the combi. Okay, got more walls now, so let's just quickly fill in this other track, and uh, one more like that. So then I guess next up we want maybe adobe walls on top, just to kind of fill this out. Uh, again, I think I'm going to need to get a few more of those because I've run out, or well, I'm going to run out in a moment. And like so. No, oh, I had exactly the right amount. There we go, so that's it. And then I guess we'll just put a ceiling on here. Um, and that'll be, and then we just need to decorate out, so that's going to be pretty good. Okay, I'm going to stick a ceiling on and then I'll see you in a moment. Okay guys, so I've put on the ceiling and I've also taken away the central supports of the glass and um, just like we did with the compi, we've made them one big kind of glass uh, window. Now what also we need to do is to uh, make sure that the glass is kind of slightly tinted just so you can actually make sure it doesn't look like a big empty space. It does actually look like glass, which is what we need. So we'll do it like that and that's pretty good. These ones, I don't know, what do you reckon? These ones don't matter so much. I guess we could do just just to kind of make it consistent I suppose and then again I guess we could do I think I did I already do these ones I already did those ones that's actually fine so there we go so it actually looks like glass slightly tinted um, yeah and you can especially when you look through a couple of them like that that looks perfect excellent okay and uh, yeah I definitely did all those ones okay so that's the um, that's the glass done so we now need to get a couple more pegomastics in I don't know how many should we have Maybe uh, three or four would look quite nice in here, and we'll definitely need to get some decorations done. And I think what I might do as well is maybe de decorate a little bit of this lobby. I'm thinking on this ground floor we're also going to have the Jaboa, and um, so that will probably come out towards the back. So we'll have a little corridor going out that way, and um, I guess we could either do that next time or we'll... We'll maybe do one of the birds up the top or something. We'll see how it goes. Also, while we're talking about the Jaboa, and also the vulture to a certain extent. Um, if you are sort of a fan of the educational specials I do, what I normally do is I build an enclosure for a dino and then on the Wednesday after I then do an ed educational special on them as well. So that's kind of like a five minute video where I talk about um, the real life examples of these uh, creatures and uh, anything that I can find out about them. Now the Jaboa, it's not an extinct creature, it's just basically a, a bit of a mammal. I, haven't, I didn't really read too much about it, but it's just kind of a mammal, often sold in the pet trade. Um, do you really need an Ishka special about the Jaboa? Let me know if you want to see one of them. And similarly with the Vulture. Again, a Vulture, this isn't an extinct Vulture, it's just a Vulture. So um, do you want an Ishka special on something that's just a regular creature, not necessarily an extinct creature? The other ones I'm definitely going to do because they're all extinct creatures. Um, but... Yeah, so the Jaboa and the Vulture, do you want to see educational specials on those? If you're a fan of that series, as well as this building series, let me know if that's something you want to see. I'm not too bothered either way. If you want to see one, I'll do one. But um, yeah, but they're not an extinct creature. They're, they're just a, a regular creature that is around today, and you can see them today. Um, doesn't mean they're any less interesting, but um, it's just kind of an extinct creature educational special series that I've been doing so far. So yeah, let me know what you want to see. Okay, so I'm going to grab some resources to uh, decorate this with and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll see what we can do. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, I've done a bit of decorating. Let's have a look around. So I've done the, uh, the kind of the, the lobby area. I'm down leading over to the stairs and I've put in a few plants, um, all the hanging plants around the compies uh, enclosure. I've also put a water trough in there as well to give them some water to drink. Um, these lighting, these sort of dome lights, things think they look pretty cool. I'll put a few of those around. Um, a dodo topiary, um, he's kind of hiding underneath the stairs with some flowers. And I'm also putting one of these desert uh, terrariums. So we've got like the jubos in there, we've got some bugs, we've got some mantis in there. So I think that looks really awesome. And uh, these doors lead out to nowhere. That's where we're going to be putting the jaboa um, enclosure, probably maybe next time out, depending on how we feel. And uh, yeah, so that's how this bit looks. So I thought we would do the Pegamastix enclosure together. Um, obviously, let me know what you think about these. I'm not too sure about the rugs. I think it looks all right. Uh, there are a few different colors to choose from, but the, you know, I thought the red looks quite nice in here. So I thought we would go for maybe a bit of a desert theme in here. 
Um, I, I just had a quick look to see if I could find out what the uh, environment was that the Pegamastics uh, lived in. Uh, I couldn't really see anything. I did like you know sort of two or three minute quick research on the Pegamastics, and there wasn't a huge amount about it from what I could see. Um, so I don't know what the environment was until I go more in depth. But I thought you know for the purposes of the game, I think we'll do a bit of a desert environment. So I've got a few top deserty things on me. We've also got a water trough in here as well. Water isn't particularly visible, but maybe that that might have something to do with the clear water mod we have on here. I don't know whether that would affect it. But anyway, let's see what we can come up with. Um, let's have a look here. I've got what we've got in here. Got a few sort of plants and things. What we've got? We've got it's like a hedgehog cactus. Let's try putting down some cactuses, and we'll see what these sort of things uh, look like. Uh, there we go. That's pretty cool. And then we've got these ones. Are they? Oh, they're huge. Do they stick through? That's interesting. Let's put one at the back. I have a feeling they might be... Oh yeah, <laughs> how far up does that go? Let's have a quick look up the stairs. Um, that's going to be up that way. Oh, can't get up there. Hold on. Let's have a quick fly up there. Oh yeah, they're huge. Okay, we'll get rid of that one then. That's a bit too big. I uh, thought that might be cool to have some, some cactuses in there. Let's just quickly walk again. Oops. And uh, yeah, so okay, we'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll demolish that. We don't need that. Okay, so what else have we got? Um, no more cactuses. Some briar bushes. We might be able to put some of those in. Uh, it's quite nice. Let's put one of those in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that gives it a real good sort of desert feel. And uh, we'll stick another. Well, we'll stick one uh, over this way. Looks pretty good. What else have we got? Seven. What is this? Little palm cluster. We could do that uh, maybe over in the corner here. Yeah, that's quite nice. What about some rocks? I've got. Oh, that's a really big rock. That's probably too big. That is probably too big. Let's not use that one then. What else have we got? Um, oh, these, are all, these are all so big. That's not too bad actually. We can use... Yeah, we'll use that. Uh, what else could we do? Some flowers maybe? We can stick in... Get a bit of colour in here. Let's try putting those like that. We can stick a few of those about. Make it look like a real kind of desert environment. What's this one? Let's put this over by the door. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, that looks pretty good. Um, we'll put a little bit more over here. Let's put another one of these over here. Yeah, that looks quite good. I quite like that. So maybe do you want another one of these cactuses? Maybe let's put another cactus over over the back. Maybe maybe here. There we go. Yeah, get a bit of greenery in here. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, I like that. I think that'll do. So let's get some more Pegos in here and uh, we'll have a look and uh, review and see what we think of it. Okay, here we go. So I've got four Pegos in here now. This one, this one looks pretty cool. Look at that, how dark the colour is. Not seen one like that before. Okay, so we've got one there. That's the one we had originally. We have a paler one there and another. So they're all different colours. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's have a look from the outside and see what we think of it. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. That looks really good. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. Again, we've got the, the walls at the back. Again, we, we might be able to do something with that, but I'm not too sure. The only thing I can think about is the ivy, but I think that might be a little bit too much. I kind of like it how it is. Yeah, okay, so there we go. I think that's pretty much done. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about the decorations. We've got plenty of plants in here. That's the combi enclosure. And uh, then we have the stairs going up into the Pego enclosure. So again, um, I will do a educational special on these guys next Wednesday. Um, having a, look, a quick look, I don't think there's a huge amount of information about them, so it might be a shorter one. But obviously I will spend a lot longer uh, researching than the five minutes I just did to, to kind of try and find the environment out. Um, but yeah, so there we go. That's the little sort of desert enclosure for um, the Pego Mastics. Um, yeah, so okay, so questions. Uh, if, if you have anything you want named, let me know. Uh, but please make sure that it's for something I've already got, uh, because if I don't have it, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to reserve it for when we do get one. So all these need namings, and we're going to need obviously we're going to have several of each of these in the enclosure. All the compies need naming. In actual fact, I did have one request for a compie. We can do that right now. Uh, but yeah, so give me some feedback on the enclosures, what you think you like about um, the lobby area that we have. Let's get this back and let's just find uh, this one will do. We're going to change the name. 
Now, I don't really think I need to put my tags on these anymore, but just in case, there, you know, there are kind of dinosaurs around that, that aren't mine on the server, even though I'm the only one who plays on the server. Uh, but there we go. But this is uh, for, oops, sorry, I do apologise, I've spelled that wrong. That's Connor. So there we go, that's our first uh, compy named Connor. So uh, yeah, if you want any of the compies named after you, let me know. And uh, if you want any of the Pegos named after you as well, that would be something uh, to, uh, to say as well. Okay, so it looks like we're about to get foggy in here, so uh, it's probably a very good time to leave it. So uh, yeah, give me some feedback, let me know what you think about the enclosure and about the decorations we have in here. And uh, I really hope you've enjoyed the episode, thank you so much for watching, really do appreciate it. Let me know if you have any names you want me to, uh, to do. And uh, yeah, please join me back on Wednesday for the Educational Special on the Pegamastics, and join me back next Saturday for another Shredder Zoo episode. Thank you so much, and I will see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>